sons, most of his sons anyway, uh, did go to Egypt and stayed there. And they were treated very well at first. Of course, as long as Joseph was alive, they were treated very well. But years passed and years passed. Joseph died and things changed. And the Pharaoh, the emperor, the leader of Egypt, the whole dynasty, family changed. And they didn't, they didn't trust the Hebrews because that's what these people were now called. The people of Israel, as we think of them, were called Hebrews there. Uh, and Hebrews, they, the Egyptians looked down on Hebrews and didn't trust them. So, soon the capital of Egypt changed up to the north. The Pharaoh wanted to build a beautiful city, and he made the Hebrews into slaves uh, to work for him. And so life was very hard for them. Uh, at one point, Pharaoh even decided to kill the oldest son of each family. One mother uh, put her baby into a basket uh, with the help of her daughter, Miriam, and the, the baby was put in the basket on the River Nile, and apparently, according to the story, the basket floated down the river. The princess, daughter of Pharaoh, saw the basket, wanted to raise the baby, and even chose Moses' mother, not knowing that the baby was uh, her, daughter, her son, to raise the child. So that worked out nicely. So Moses was spared. His name even means taken out of the water. Okay, so Moses grows up. Uh, after a while, he is taken into Pharaoh's palace, and he lives very well. As a young man, he things change, and suddenly Pharaoh wanted to kill Moses for reasons, for some reasons. So Moses has to run away, alone, and he goes to the Sinai Desert. He lives in the desert. He gets married there, uh, and he lives there for a long time, maybe 20 years. Uh, he is a quiet man and he likes he stands out there on the mountain sides with the sheep taking care of the sheep for long periods of time one day he hears a voice from a burning bush and the voice calls to him Moses goes near and the bush basically says I am the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob I want you to go back to Egypt and lead your people out of Egypt to the promised land. Uh, so Moses, not very happy actually, because it was a, he was a quiet man, went back to Egypt. Moses, number one, what were Jacob's children's children called? Number two, what did the new Pharaoh do? Number three, what did one Hebrew mother do? Number four, who wanted to keep the baby? Number five, what did the princess not know? Number six, what does Moses mean? Number seven, why did the Pharaoh want to kill Moses? Number eight, where did Joseph go? Number 9. What happened in the desert? Number 10. What did God tell Moses to do?